magnesium in oxygen. It's an important experiment because of the data that we collect. We use that data to calculate the empirical formula of a metal oxide. So we start off with the crucible and the lid, and we take its mass. The mass is 23.04. Then we measure the mass of the crucible, the lid, and the magnesium. The magnesium has been rubbed with some sandpaper. The reason is to get rid of any oxide layer, because that means that the magnesium wouldn't be pure. The mass of the crucible and the lid and the magnesium is 23.48. Those two pieces of information allow us to calculate the mass of magnesium, or 4 grams. So, we've got some of the information that we need to calculate the empirical formula. We've got the mass of the magnesium, but we also need the mass of the oxygen. So to do that, we need to find out the mass of the crucible, the lid, and the magnesium oxide. So we need to heat the magnesium in a crucible. We're going to use a roaring blue flame to heat the magnesium. Every so often you have to lift the lid to allow the oxygen in to react with the magnesium. You can see that a reaction is underway at the moment because there's a glowing coming from the crucible. You can also see that as I lift the lid we get a release of smoke. That's magnesium oxide escaping. So there's a fine balance between allowing enough oxygen in to react with the magnesium and not allowing too much of the magnesium oxide to escape. So the reactions come to an end. The reason I know is because there is no glowing and also no magnesium oxide smoke is being released. So it's time to turn off the Bunsen and now measure the mass of the crucible, the lid, and the magnesium oxide. So I'm weighing that, that comes to 23.75. I'm going to use that data now to calculate the mass of the oxygen. I know that the mass of the crucible lid and magnesium is 23.48. The mass of the crucible lid and magnesium oxide is 23.75. The only difference between these two is that this contains oxygen. So the difference of these two values will give me the mass of the oxygen. And the difference between those two values is 0.27.